So I made a video some time ago where I I fixed uh, this machine's motor problems and uh, what I just did is that I took the motor control board from this machine which was working the motor correctly and I put it here and the problem is uh, solved so now this machine is working let me just uh, demonstrate this uh, just I will go and take a light or no it cannot be seen so let me demonstrate this machine is connected with uh, this here and when I turn it on let's focus you can see that it's turning correctly so it's very smooth, it runs very smooth so I now from this I connected uh, this machine here and uh, let's see how it works focus ok so I don't know if you can hear a clicking noise uh, and it's not working correctly it's making this clicking noise and it starts and stops So I put the belt on so that you can see that it's actually moving but it makes, it makes that uh, clicking noise uh, and it's definitely not to working correctly. So what I thought is that uh, since I have this working machine uh, I have taken out the motor, I, I never put it in back because uh, this uh, motor control board originally comes from this machine, they, I switched them. Uh, so now, uh, what I'm gonna do, I will scope the phases of this motor and I will compare them with this motor uh, so that if the problem is the, mot the, is the motor control board but I assume it is, because when I replaced uh, this with this, it worked. This one worked. And I will scope the phases of the power supply of the motor, which are here, and also the signal supply, which is here, the, the signal from here to the control board, so that the control board uh, can... Um, can determine which phases to power, which phase to power here. So I will scope all three of them and see what are the differences between this and this machine. And I might be able to find out if the problem is a phase that has gone bad, meaning the transistors of this. So I might replace a transistor and uh, fix this control board. So uh, the motor of uh, these machines uh, have uh, three phases. Uh, the black cable is the ground and we have yellow, green, blue which is phase 1, phase 2, phase 3. Uh, I have put here the scope uh, on phase uh, 1 which is the yellow cable and here I did the same and now I will open the, work, the good working one and uh, we have a 50 Hz signal with about 4.4 uh, volts up, 3.2 volts down <coughs> positive and negative ok, now I will open the bad one and uh, I can see like 5 volts up, 2 volts down but a distorted signal. Let's put them both together. Okay, so phase one shows something, but uh, not very consistent. Let's go to the other phases. So let's see phase D or phase two, which is the green. Okay. 
the good one the good one has a very similar signal to phase two, phase two. the bad one has an equally bad signal to phase two Let's go to the other phase. So, um, scope is connected to phase 3, here and here. And let's see what we have. Good working machine. Again, the same nice signal. Bad working machine. Again, that bad distorted signal. I cannot really know from uh, what I've seen so far which phase is bad. What I noticed is that on phase 3 there is a very strange signal with the bad one. Let me show you. This is phase 2 which is uh, 4.5 4 to 5 volts up and minus 2 volts down but if I put the scope on phase 3 look what I have I have some signals going all the way down to minus 8 Okay. I don't know if that means that uh, phase uh, 3 is bad, but that might be the case. Now I will try to scope the signal, um, the, the signal uh, side of the motor, which is this one, the back one, and see if I can find anything from there. So, uh, looking at the service manual, we can here very clearly see that on the signal part of the motor, this is the main part of the motor here, with windings 1, 2, 3, and uh, 0 being the common. And this is the signal part, and we can see that number 10 is the common, and 11, 12, 13 are the three signals for each phase. So I will put the negative of the scope to pin number 10 on the motor. So pin uh, number 10, which is the common, is that here, which is the black and white cable. And uh, here I put the scope and here also and let's see what we have so the good working machine has like 1.4 volts now let's see the bad machine the bad machine shows uh, rarely an inconsistent signal okay just let me so it's just the bad machine which ah I didn't change the scale it is here Very strange signal from the bad machine. Anyway. Okay, let's let's go to the other phase. So scope uh, is now on uh, where on this uh, black uh, green, which is number thirteen, and let's see what we have here. Okay, good one has a nice smooth signal. Uh, 
the other one has something straight. Let me switch off the good one. Okay, we can see that this is only negative. This is strange behavior. Okay. I will uh, note uh, this down. I will note this down and see. So now scope is on number 12 here and uh, let's see what we have. Let's focus, let's focus. Why does it? Okay. So, uh, Nice working machine, has a smooth signal, as always. And the bad working machine... has a signal that looks like the, the one we had the first one. Okay. So, what I did notice is that on the third phase I have I had a minus eight volt something strange signal and on thirteen I had only negative values here. Okay, now let's go and see What I lastly thought I could do is, to, is measure the power supply of uh, the motor control board and I'm doing this exactly here. So on, uh, these, uh, on these two pins here and I do the same on the good machine there I'm just uh, getting signal let me I'm getting signal from down there. So if I start that machine, we can see here that we have a strange signal. So it's not consistent. It's about 140 hertz signal, which is plus 6 volts something. But if we start the other machine, we have a signal that's very strange, has nothing to do with the other signal. It is about 6 volts. Now I will stop the good working machine so that we can see what the bad machine signal looks like. It's something like that, so I have no idea what this is. It is about 6 volts, but it's very inconsistent. Anyway, the next thing I'm gonna do is that I'm gonna take uh, this out and check some, some things to see if I find anything.